Welcome to Excel Basics number 10. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Basics. Hey, in this video, we want to see what happens when we copy a formula and compare that to when we cut a formula and what happens to cell references. Hey, in this cell right here, let's do a relative uh, cell reference in a formula that looks six above. So type an equal sign and click 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five cells above. That formula is not B1. Excel doesn't see it that way. Because we're going to copy the formula, it's relative. It means if I'm the formula, where am I always going to look? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 above. Control Enter to keep to put the formula in the cell and keep the cell highlighted. And now point to the fill handle in that little black box in the corner. When you see your uh, crosshair or angry rabbit, click and drag down. Now I'm going to click in the last cell and hit the edit key, F2. Sure enough, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Excel obeyed me perfectly. I typed a formula that was equals five cells above. Even though it said B1 up here, it really, Excel saw it as five above. So when I copied it down, sure enough, it's still looking five above. So when you copy a formula, it says right here, copy a formula, all of the rules for cell references apply. I'm going to hit Enter. Now I'm going to come over here and just try something slightly different. I'm going to say Equals. And then I'm going to click up here on uh, our uh, net income number 3,000. And then I'm going to hit um, Tab. Click back in this cell. I'm going to hit F2. Notice it says B3. But all the rules of cell references are thrown out of the window when you cut and paste. I'm going to click Escape. The keyboard shortcut for cut is Control X. You could also right click if you like. Or Control Cut. I'm going to hit, I mean, not Control, right click Cut. Control X. And then I'm going to click right here and Control V. Now I'm going to hit the F2 key, and sure enough, it's still B3. When you cut and paste a formula, forget it. The formula is exactly as it was in the previous one. Cell references do not come into play. It's only when you start copying formulas like we did here that you then uh, the rules of cell references apply. So that's copy and cut. As always, if you want to uh, download the workbooks and follow along, come to the Excel is Fun channel at YouTube and click on that link on the left, and it gets you. Here's the workbooks. Here's the free book. You can download it and print it out. And all of the other workbooks uh, that go with the videos here at Excel is Fun.